Alright guys, welcome back to Solo Survival. Um, my humble little abode here. It's another cramped base, I know. But here's the plan, right? We found satchels earlier. We've just learnt swords. Um, so I'm gonna go off and find blades. I've only got one metal blade at the moment. So we're gonna need another six or so, because I've got the satchel. I might just throw it on the wall. Another tarp. That's not what I need. Come on, give me a Rope. So I just went and checked um, here with my stream too. And what I'm going to do is there's a base just behind me here. Or just behind this rock here. Yeah, so there is a base just over here with a wood door. No, a wood wall. And I think I can see wood shelves. So what I'm going to do is go through it with machetes. We have figured out that it is 27 machetes for a wooden wall. Which is so, so cheap. So basically I'm cooking up the metal now. I have used one machete and one sword on it. Cooking up the metal now, and we're gonna go through it. Okay, wood. I need to get wood to supply the wood to supply the furnaces and keep them going. I also need to put some stuff in my TC just because it's. Uh, I only have three hours left on my TC, so I'm gonna need some wood and I'm gonna need some stone. Hey, there's that base I uh, raided yesterday. You guys didn't see, but I eco raided that base over there the other day. Alright, two stoners here. We'll grab these and then head home. Alright guys, just got back with all the metal and... Oof, this is running out a little bit. Let me top that up. Got back with all the metal. 900 more. And I got some more stone for the TC, which is nice. So I'm just going to refill this. Just to keep it, keep it moving. Because I do need the metal for the base as well. But right now, I need one scrap to learn the hatchet. Because I have a hatchet up top. Up here in this need oh two more two more two more scrap and then we've got ourselves a metal hatchet so i'm gonna go get that from the recycler now all right we've got the scrap we needed these boxes are respawning very quickly viking hatchet cooking nice okay should just be a few trees to get here i think i need three i'll get 3k wood just to be safe okay what we got going on that's 27 exactly so, here is the machetes. I don't think I need 27. I think I need 23 because I hit it with one machete and one sword. They're all cooked now. Uh, I can put everything else back in here along with this scrap. And then once they're ready, we'll get to hitting the wall. Alright, we're back at the base. And I'm literally just going to start hitting it. And I'll get back to you once it's uh, really low. Okay. The wall is on 8 health. Here we go. It is the loot! Holy shit! Get me in here. No. Okay, a free code lock. Oh, here we go. We got juice, boys. We have got juice. I'm full. I'm actually full. Alright, we got juice. We'll come back for it. Let's store this real quick. What do we got? Four, basically 500 sulfur. 800 metal frags, 30 foot of rope which is sick, a ladder which is really good, a code lock, and then the rest of the stuff to get, there's definitely profit. Stashing all this stuff away, I'm just going to make a big box here, just to put on my new shelves I've just put down in my hallway, which is completely in the way by the way, but you know what, we don't care. Over here at Key & Co, we just don't care. Let's go for the guns one. Okay, I'm going to have to put these sideways, just because I won't be able to get past if I don't. Right, here we go, put that in there. Put that in there for no reason. I'm hoping there's going to be loads of stuff in here. It's a shame there isn't because it's a huge freaking loot room. Okay, we've got a good pick, which is actually really good. And the rest of this stuff, 28 low grade, not low grade, high call, which is quite good actually. Nothing in there, nothing in there. So that's everything. That was his loot room. That's like, like his main loot room and he's got nothing in it. What I could do actually is just spear raid it. That'd be a lot cheaper. It would take a... Actually, no, it doesn't take that long. Maybe I just spear raid it, guys. What do we think? I'd have to get rid of these. This is really fucking in the way, you know? <laughs> nice. Oh, shit. I forgot all of this. Right, let me look, actually, how much two spears does. Let's see. Let's see. 
Okay, so two is three. Shut up, Siri! Come on. I'll take some stone tools with me as well. Someone said that. Right, let's go recycle that. Question mark. Right, hopefully I can get this researched, no, scrapped pretty easily. And then get bean cans. And then we can do some bean can stuff. Maybe even fuck a few onto that stone wall, you know? Oh, guys. I mean, I could do that. I know. Oh, my God. This freaking did loads of damage. Oh, it's an airlock, of course. Of course it is. Well, we tried, at least. Okay, so I'm heading out to try and find a base to bean can raid right now. And I can see this wooden base off in the distance. Alright, let's check this base out. Alright, yeah, so... What the fuck? It's got freaking... It's got twig roofs. Is this a trap? This looks like a trap, right? Uh, let me hit a tree. There's a sleeper on that base. What is going on around here? Let's have a look at this guy on his little base. What's that, wait? Oh, no, it's a carpet. Never mind, it was a carpet. It isn't a sleeper. She's a carpet. Right, hopefully I can make that jump. Oh, I can definitely make that. Come on, I'm better than that. There we go. Ten, ten pounds says this is a trap. Wait, is there even building proof? Yeah, there is. What? He's got a freaking key on him. This guy must be a noob. Well, thanks, dude. 900 wood. Oh. What? A revolver! Got a freaking revolver! No way. Let me eat that. I don't. Oh, I need that scrap. Mm. Oh, thanks, dude. Thanks for the stuff! I'm out! Holy shit, we got a revolver. Nice. That's good. That is really fucking good. It's 75 scrap to learn this. So we'll learn that, and then we'll learn the bullet, and then we're good. And we can go do some PvP and stuff. Okay. Nice, we've learned that. That's great. Let's see, we can only put one in there. Okay, and pistol bullet learnt. Good. We can make ourselves a revolver now. Courtesy of that noob that I just stole stuff from. I love it. Alright, so here's what we're doing. We left off and I was going to raid the roof of that base. Um, I'm still going to do that. I'm going to go do it now. Thing is, I don't think I have enough bean cans. I have 5, 10, I have 11. I think I need... One or two more, but I don't have the sulfur. So, well, that's a new base. That is interesting. Let me have a look at this first. That's a bigger base. The, the base I was gonna rain is like a two by one. But if I could, if I could nail this one instead, then that's something I'd be looking at doing. I can't. The thing is, I can't get this back if I use it. Okay, I'm just going to use it. Check the roof. What is that? Right, there's definitely loot up here. I don't know whether to go through the door. It's the same amount for the roof here than it would be for, like, the door and that. No, it's a fridge. That's definitely a fridge. Sadly, I can't see if there's an airlock. I imagine there would be. Just because of the way the base is made. Five, six. I have 11. I'm one short, but I could just shoot the rest of it. Fuck it. We'll go through the doors. We'll go through the doors. Alright. All right, there we go. We're in. Just going to make sure there's no shotgun trap before I freaking gallivant in and get ended. Right, so as I thought, there is a airlock. What are we on? Right, we're in. 
Didn't bring a door with me like a fool. Okay. Not another door. Don't tell me there's nothing in here. Okay. I can make a door. Quick door and a code lock. Not a code lock, a thingy lock. Sorry, Rock, I've got to get rid of you. Alright, there's a sleep guy. Frost bit. Has he got a door in here? No door, but he has the keys, which are useless to me. And this fridge. Oh, he's got pickles. Alright, we're locked in. Good. I can have a proper look around. Um, so I got all of that out of the TC. 1k stone, 152 sulfur. I didn't make my sulfur back, which is sad. Got 100 metal frags, a bit of wood, which is helpful. Got the stuff that's on him, which is cool. I don't need all of that, so sorry, mate. Got some components, which is always nice. I got a salvage pit, which is really good, and this 12 gauge butt shot, 19 foot of rope, which is incredible. <laughs> some shop fronts for some reason. Whatever's over here, and then all this food in the fridge, which is nice. It's always freaking tough though, especially with a doorway like this. I'm just gonna run out, if I get shot, I get shot. Okay, we're going home. I can pick my ladder up, I know. I'll get that when I go back. Alright, we're home. That was a bit of a nervous run, even though it was only really short. So let's bank everything here. All my components and things go in here. Look at all that rope, man. I got 62 foot of rope. That's crazy. And then I'll put the spare stuff in here. What I didn't mention as well is all of the scrap I got from that. 282 you can see in my hotbar. So I slide that on in there. 309 scrap I now have, which is brilliant. I could probably land the ladder, actually. Okay, let's put that in there. Cloth goes in. I think I'll put that in there. I'll definitely learn that. Everything else can go in the TC. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there. If you've enjoyed, please consider hitting that like button. It really helps me out. Uh, if you're new around here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. I'm getting new content, a video every two to three days. Um, and I'm live streaming every day at the moment. So if you want to be notified about that, hit the notification bell. Thanks a lot, guys. Take it easy. I've been searching in the dark Trusting every clue I've found But the truth has not been told There's every corner of these woods